All aboard. Try and move. Can I move? Senor Sequeiros lives? Drive up a little closer. Is he still paralyzed? Yes, Senora. But he can be cured. The doctors have tried all they know, Senora. I am an insurance adjuster for the railroad company. I assure you, your husband will receive compensation for the accident. tired. I'm going up to bed. It's a very attractive dress. Thank you for wearing it for me tonight. You're welcome. I'm so tired. I have to go to bed. Good night, Laura. Good night, dear. Sorry you are tired tonight. It was nice of the father to come and see me, wasn't it? Laura, didn't you hear me? Yes, I heard. When we get the money from the railroad, we can buy an automobile. 
You can drive me all over. We could even buy this house. Please don't talk anymore. I want to get some sleep. We could go to Acapulco. Yes, yes. Would you like that role? Yes. Go to sleep. who came all the way from Mexico City to examine me. The one the railway paid especially. Said I'd never walk again. But then you have cured yourself? Of course not. I keep telling you, I am incurable. And I intend to remain incurable until they pay up. And they will pay up plenty. I can tell you that. But it's wrong. It's cheating. Don't you understand? I have fooled them all, all those people at the hospital. We need only be patient and the money will roll in. We'll have enough for the rest of our lives. What's the matter, Lola? Are you sure they won't find out? counting all the zeros. And then I worry a little. Stop worrying. We better go for our walk. It's time to make your daily appearance. Maria, I'm glad to see you. And I'm glad to see you, Father. Who's the girl? She lives out in the country. She comes every market day. But the blanket, is there something wrong with her? She's paralyzed. She's calling us. Senor Siqueiros, a very dear friend of mine, Maria. Maria, like you, sir, bears affliction with grace. What else can we do? We are in God's hands. I have hope. Hope? Maria goes every year to the Shrine of Novales. Really? Yes, I pray for a miracle. And each year I try to make the pilgrimage. Are you making the pilgrimage this year? No, not this year. This year she hasn't the money. Maria supports herself by knitting, and things have been going too well. But I have hope. Father, you have shown me a wonderful example. I too shall try to live as cheerfully as Maria. Goodbye, Father. I better know my plan. It might be a good idea if you started talking about it in the neighborhood. What do you mean? We are going to travel, you and I. I want our neighbors to know that we are going to Novalis. There, I will suddenly find my legs. Just another of the famous miracles.
now. Do not help me. I am going to drag myself to the farm. The nun is what? When the clock strikes five, I will dip my hand into the water, and then I will stop. Let's do it tomorrow, please. Be quiet. I know you won't believe me, but please hear me out. Of course I'll hear you out. What's the trouble? It happened yesterday, exactly at five o'clock. Mother had gone to market, and I was alone in my room. I suddenly had the impression it had become very dark. And then, in the corner of my room, over the statue, there was a sudden light. And I heard the virgin's voice. My dear child, you must not. No, no. She spoke to me. She said, Maria, I have taken from someone a pair of useless legs with which she will be able to walk perfectly well. And when I stared at the statue, she smiled and said, Stand up, Maria. Stand up and walk. You had a dream. It was a dream. No, father. Look! 